What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay on Detour. I don't know what I go in this, but I'm using an M8 the whole time. It's a team deathmatch, so it's a short gameplay. Uh, I forget how long it is, but I have a couple minutes to talk, so. Um, today I'm going to talk about the time I had um, Dr. Kevin Elko join, or not join, uh, come to my school and give us a pep talk before a soccer game. So if you guys don't know, Dr. Kevin Elko is... I think he's for the University of Arizona. He's uh, like a, I guess he gives up like pump up speeches for them, and um, he's like pretty known for. His, he's got a book called Pep Talk. I forget. He's got two other books, um, two or three other books, uh, and one's being turned into a movie. I think it's Pep Talk that's being turned into a movie. Um, but yeah, he came to our school and he gave us about a 45 minute speech before our soccer game. Because we had a game at, at 4 that day. Usually our games are at 3, but since he was coming, we moved, pushed our game back to 4. So, we sat down at about 2.45. We had a home game. All the teams had a home game. And he's giving us uh, just this really cool speech. Just saying how you got to be, like, respectful of your family. And you got to be someone... Like, you got to be a role model to somebody. Like, you can't just be who you want to be. You can be who you want to be, but you have to be a respectful person, somebody who's not going to be hated because, or be hated by adults, be hated by their elders because they're completely disrespectful. Because you don't want that. And that's basically what he said in his speech. And it was cool. Um, I got to meet him afterwards. I shook his hand. He seemed like a really nice guy. I told him his speech meant a lot to me. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, I don't really remember much of what he said, like, word for word, but I just remember the, um, whole thing, and we ended up going on and winning that game, um, so, now, I'm gonna talk about, this is the same week we had a football comeback versus our rivals, and I'm gonna call them COHS, because that's their initials, so, my school, BP, which is, I'm just going to be calling us by our school initials. I'm BP, COHS is our rival. Um, so, we're playing against COHS, and it was like 36 to, I think, 7 at the halftime, and we made local front covers because we came back and won 42 to 36. We held them scoreless in the second half in football, and it was just amazing. Like, the, the it was crazy. All the kids from BP stormed the field. I wasn't there, I heard about it, but I saw pictures of it, it was insane. I heard that like, one of my classmates made some huge tackle, and the, I think like the guy fumbled, and we recovered it, and the guy ended up, um, the kid ended up having like nine tackles and two forced fumbles that game or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard, and um, I heard he had just some amazing game, and he... Um, he basically led the team to victory. He uh, he was awarded the MVP for that game, um, and it was funny because he was on the freshman football team, and he got called up to varsity um, because their starting cornerback got hurt or something like that. It was just awesome that we came back not just against not just against some school. It was against our rivals, our arch nemesis, like our, our, the team that we literally hate. Like, COHS is the most hated school in the Archdiocese, and we came back against them. We hate each other. Every school hates COHS. Every school literally hates them. Like, I think they don't have, like, okay, maybe Marple, or, ooh, uh, Marple, which is a school near me, maybe they, um, they don't get along that well, but uh, there's also AW, um, AP, there's a bunch of schools that hate them. Like, literally, we have a teacher from COHS that teaches at my school, and all the teaching staff hates him. Uh, even the students hate him, and Shadows, he has a prosthetic leg because he was born without a leg, and this is going to be harsh, but Shadows always makes fun of him. And, um, the teachers have a, certain teachers that have been there, uh, for a while, if you steal his prosthetic leg and give it to them, they'll give you an A for the rest of the year. Um, so a lot of kids have tried to steal his prosthetic leg, and no one's been successful yet. And that's because he got a teacher fired, and the teachers 
on the teacher's last day, that's what he said. Um, he said if anybody gets can steal his prosthetic leg, that uh, a couple teachers were in on it, and you will uh, pass for the year, which is I think is awesome. Like, I mean, it's mean that you're gonna steal the guy's prosthetic leg, but uh, Phil always makes fun of him. Phil's shadows, if you guys don't know that, he always makes fun of him behind his back. He never says anything to his face, like. Uh, like, uh, you know what I want in my life? A prosthetic leg! Like, stuff like that. Um, it's gonna seem mean, but it's really funny. Um, especially because the teacher doesn't hear him, so it's funny. Uh, and, yeah, so, uh, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.